So let's look at some of these hogs, baby. This officer signed out of service for the last time because he did not want to get vaccinated. That's right, baby. God damn, bro. Look at this. Look at this hog, dude. Can we just admire? I love this piglet, dude. He's got the gullet. Oh, oh just such a thumb, dude. It's so good. That's not a uniform from the 70s chatter. That is a state trooper uniform. Due to my personal choice to take a moral stand against for medical freedom and personal choice, I will be signing out of service for the last time today. After nearly 17 years of serving the citizens of the state of Washington, it has been my honor and privilege to work alongside all of you. I want to take a moment to thank those that have helped me be successful, to be safe, and to go home every day. At the end of each shift, to hear, rip, hear the ripping of that Velcro is a relief to my wife and kids. I want to admonish each of you, knowing that despite what the press releases... Bro, these guys, I swear to God, if we funded, like, the uh, cultural programs, like, we would literally have less cops. We would just have less hogs in general. These people just need an outlet, dude. Like, these are all theater guys, you know what I mean? This is, like, such a theater kid move, you know? It's like, I'm gonna film myself in a dramatic fashion as I leave for the last time, the force. Like, you know, I'm gonna rip the Velcro off. It's like, shut up. Okay, go home. Go do your pathetic loser, like, you know, construction business. Go launch that, okay? And then, and then uh, live your life of quiet desperation and uh, hopefully you beat your wife less now that you're off the force as your arteries keep getting clogged and then you inevitably die with a vent down your goddamn throat because you didn't get the vaccine, okay? That's what's... Uh, let me tell you something, okay? I just read your fat palm. That's what's happening to you, okay? I see your future right ahead. Good job. Have fun. It's like, that's exactly what's going on, dude. Love that. This is the this is the average body type of the guy that writes under every like COVID death. Well, they had to be, uh, you know, they should have been skinny if they didn't want to die of COVID. That's why they died. It's like motherfucker, look at yourself, dude. Your Apple Watch doesn't fit your arm, dude. It's like blowing out. And the news conferences are saying to downplay this role. We all know in this district, on the 19th, there will be 51 of the 75 troopers available and only seven of the 11 sergeants. So please, please, please take care of each other. Now is your time to do crime, boys. That's right, only seven of the 11 sergeants are gonna be out there. You know, it's crime time, baby. Woo, let's go. No, I'm just kidding. He's literally out of breath, dude. <laughs> and only seven of the 11 sergeants. So please, please, please. Take care of each other. So please take care of each other. <laughs> ah, he did the dramatic pause and then retold. He, he said it twice, dude. <laughs> please take care of each other. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. That's so good. This is delicious, dude. I love this. Oh, so good. Be safe. And make sure you all go home at the end of each day. Again, thank you to each and every one of you that have stood alongside me and that we have helped each other out. But as you want to know why he recorded this? Because he's not actually talking to the dispatch. You want to know why? Because that's an emergency services line, dude. That, like, what do you mean? There's like shit going on. Can you imagine doing a allowing some hog to do like a one minute and 30 second monologue meanwhile there's like a car flipped over on i-10 you know what i mean it's like you gotta clear comms dog what the fuck shut the fuck up dude you're i know yeah go die on your own from covid okay we don't care just we got business yeah <laughs> armed robbery in progress come on bro it's some bum part of isn't it washington yeah no shot that's for me i am out of service and on to new adventures off the new on to new ventures, dude. Love that. 
Love that, dude. Imagine taking up a one. Imagine taking up like a minute and 29 seconds of like emergency dispatch time. It's almost like taking a minute of the stream to run an ad, you know? Now, of course, because it's top of the hour, there will be a one minute ad break coming right now. That's a segue for the books. Put that in the books, boys. Write it. Write it in the book right there. On time. Right on the dot. None of you were thinking about it. 10 10 segue. Give it to me. Okay. At the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break. But don't worry. Do not worry. If you're not, you can avoid those ads. You can have an ad free broadcasting experience. All you need to do for that experience, an ad free broadcasting experience, is subscribe. You can subscribe for $5. You can subscribe for free with a Twitch Prime. As long as you have your, uh, you know, your, your, Cop wife, uh, Amazon Prime account, ready to go. Connect that shit to your Twitch account when you're done having sex with this dude's wife. And you, my friend, will have a free Twitch Prime subscription to use on your favorite streamer. Hopefully that's me. Here's the one minute ad break now. <sighs> Why would I sub when I sub? Get a 60 second ad for the ad anyways. I mean, I don't know. You don't have to. POV or the dispatcher listening to this hog. Hey, Jim Bob, get off the air. We have emergencies. This is such a boomer meme, dude. You saw this in the comments, probably. Wait, uh, come on. Give me more. 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 Come on. There's more hogs. There's got to be more. This is my final sign off um, after 22 years of serving the city. Suspicious that these guys are all like pension age. You know what I mean? They're not. Le there's 0% chance. There's 0% chance these are letting go of that cushy ass sick ass pension okay they're just retiring and they want to make like a they're retiring they still maintain their health care and shit they just want to make like one last day but this is meta is the new meta for the cops citizens of the state of washington um being asked to leave because i am dirty um numerous I, am, I am dirty yeah you are but not for the way you think fatalities um injuries i've worked sick i've played sick um we buried lots of friends over these years I'd like to thank to covid specifically last year a lot of a lot of cops died a lot of good boys died in the blue uh to the the china virus that is fake and also you don't need to get a vaccine for it but uh you know yeah <clears throat> i worked sick ew dude like actually ew okay hold on that's not like a cool thing. I hate this. Like people are like, huh, I worked sick. Oh, okay. Nice dude. Well, thanks. Thanks for, you know, <laughs> making other random citizens that you're arresting also sick. Mike, not even Keaty's holding CB. Let's see. I want to see. Washington state officer down. Cause of fatality. Okay. <clears throat> to our fallen. This page is dedicated to our fallen who gave their lives while serving the citizens of the state of Washington. Trooper Detective Eric T. Gunderson died in the line of duty on September at the age of 38 after he contracted COVID. Wow. Detective Brett Hanger died on the line of duty when he suffered a heart attack while on assignment. Trooper Sean O'Connell died on the line of duty at the age of 38 when his motorcycle collided with a box truck in Conway, Washington. First of all, I just got to point something to you guys. This is what, for those of you, if this is the first time you've ever encountered this, I've done this before. What's up with the bow ties, by the way? That's just whack. Wait, what? May 31st, 20... Wait, what? Oh, shit. We skipped. I thought this was 2020. What? These are old as hell. Thumb air wrap. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. And Joe Biden's diaper for the 50 gifted subs. Okay. So the thing I was going to say is, if, if welcome to the Hassan Abbey broadcast, if you are unfamiliar, I do this stuff all the time. Many people assume when cops die in the line of duty, like they're dying because these crazy criminals with like weapons of mass destruction are like pew pew shooting them. And then they're like in a firefight. It's like, no, dude, no. Okay. A lot of these cops, they die because they're like chasing someone in heart failure. Okay. Or they die because of like heart disease. They die because of, uh, uh, you know, like the same kinds of symptoms and the reasons why most Americans die because they're deeply unhealthy. Okay. Or they oftentimes die. Thank you for the raid Fantano. Shouts out to the needle drop. 
one of my favorite people on the internet. I, I really do love Anthony. I think big fan of, of Melon Boy. Not a big fan of music in general myself, but I am a big fan of Melon Boy regardless. The GOAT. Um, great guy. Really. But as I was saying, so a lot of these cops... Hope you had a good stream, uh, Anthony. Uh, so a lot of these cops, they die because, you know, they die because of heart failure. They die because of heart disease. They die because, like, another officer shot them. Or they die, in a lot of instances, in fucking traffic collisions because they're driving like assholes. Okay? Sorry. That's just how it works. Yeah. So this notion that like, yo, yeah, police officers this is the most dangerous job in America. Not true. Literally not true. But it's also not because like, you know, people are hunting them down and shooting them in the way that like movies try to uh, tell you. Search for a fallen officer. Okay, so these are all the cops. Cause of death, COVID-19. Cause of death, COVID-19. Cause of death, heart attack. Cause of death, gunfire. Cause of death, COVID-19. Cause of death, struck by a vehicle. Cause of death, COVID-19. Cause of death, heart attack. These are all the people that died in 2021. Uh, can you search through 2021 and 2020, though? I want to do that. COVID is the number one killer of Leos in 2020 and 2021. Getting vaccinated is just as important as wearing your vest and your seatbelt. Don't wait any longer. Please consult your doctor if you see vaccination is right for you. Okay? These dumbasses are getting clapped by COVID, okay? COVID is literally dornering the shit out of the American police force. Everywhere you go, the law enforcement community is getting dornered, okay? By COVID. Non-stop. And these dumb hogs are still refusing to, uh, you know, get vaccinated. Heart attack. COVID-19. COVID-19. Drowned. That's a weird one. COVID-19, gunfire, inadvertent. What does that mean? Did he shoot himself? Oh, Jesus Christ, I gotta see this one. Why did they put that? They did him dirty, bro. They should have just kept that a secret. He was shot and killed on 10-300 block on Wooden Wheel Drive following a vehicle pursuit. At approximately 9.40, Officer Shoop and his field training officer attempted to stop a vehicle for failing to display a license plate. Vehicle fled the stop, struck a man on a scooter, and then crashed into wooden wheel drive. The occupant of the vehicle emerged, made anti-police statements, and immediately opened fire on officers who were still in the patrol car. Officer Shoop's field training officer returned fire, during which Officer Shoop was inadvertently struck in the head and killed. The man was apprehended six hours later, hiding in the roof of a nearby building. I told you! It's friendly! They're buddy f Friendly fire! Ruslan, thank you for the 50 gifted subs. COVID-19, COVID-19, vehicle pursuit. And this is every state. This is specifically, we're looking at Washington because all these hogs that are making these like lame ass videos are all in uh, Washington state, so. This is my final sign off. Um, after 22 years of serving the citizens of the state of Washington, I'm being asked to leave because I am dirty. Um, Numerous fatalities, um, injuries. I'm dirty. I've worked sick. I played sick. Um, we buried lots of friends over these years. I work. Wait. Like, what does he mean? I've played sick. I work sick. I played sick. What does that mean, dude? I'd like to thank you guys. I'd like to thank the um, citizens of Yakima County, as well as my fellow officers within the valley. Without you guys, I wouldn't have been very successful and. You've kept me safe and got me home to my family every night. Um, thank you for that. Um, wish I could say more, but um, this is it. So, State 1034, this is the last time you'll hear me in a state patrol car. And Jay Ansley can kiss my ass. Oh, he dropped it on his balls! He dropped it on his balls! Um... Wish I could say more, but um, this is it. So, State 1034, this is the last time you'll hear me in a state patrol car. And Jay Ansley can kiss my ass.
you for your 22 years and five months of service to the citizens of Washington State. You've taken on many roles in your time with the patrol. <laughs> he turned it up. He's like, come on, get this part. Get this part. In your first year, you delivered a baby while on patrol in Bremerton. You've been a DRE, DRE instructor, certified technical specialist, and reconstructionist, peer support member, part of the chaplaincy board, and a CBD trooper. You've been a great role model and mentor for Oh my God, it's scripted. They're so whack, bro. They're so whack. I mean, you guys already know my favorite politician is literally this person, but like more successful, ex-cop, uh, Louisiana. He's the Louisiana snake, you know? Hey, uh, you, um, he gonna be on a, he gonna be on the covers of magazine one day. He went to the Holocaust Museum to see and know the truth that America's Homeland Security Department need more, need more funding. That's Clay Higgins right there. Oh yeah. Like, I love, I love theater kid cops, dude. It's great. Italian troopers serving in the area by sharing your knowledge and experience throughout the years. Thank you for your service. 1906. All right, that boy right there, Clay Higgins, he crazy. That's it. That's it. It's crazy how many hogs we have here in Washington. CCD straight tubers quit due to our state mandate. Freaking hogs. Love that, dude. It's fucking sick. Washington State is wilding out. Yeah. One of their uh, the head football coach got fired today for It's disheartening to be here today. Our football team is hurting. Our WSU community. This guy actually lost like a lot of money, though, right? Didn't he get fired? So now he like lost. This guy like lost $5 million, right? He had a $5 million co dollar contract. So we only got two out of the five. And he like basically left three on the table or something. He is fractured. He was one of the most prominent and the pee. highest paid employee in Washington state. But now WSU head football coach Nick Rolovich has been fired for not getting vaccinated against COVID-19. The non-compliance with this requirement renders him ineligible to be employed at Washington State University and therefore can no longer fulfill the duties as a head coach of our football program effective immediately. The school's athletic director and president sharing their disappointment, saying when they hired Rolovich nearly two years ago, they hoped he would be a long-term coach. Now the football program is once again in transition. We need to infuse compassion, empathy, and unity back into our WC community, and that healing process needs to begin immediately. For months, Rolovich told the public he'd follow the mandate, but didn't explain how. Here he is talking with King 5's Chris Daniels in September. Have you received your shot or have you scheduled your shot? Yeah, I'm not going to talk about that, Chris. Uh, I understand what you, what you guys are trying to get to, but... Um, are you seeking a, a religious or medical exemption? I'm not going to talk about that either, that either Chris. It later came out Rolovich applied for a religious exemption. It's unclear whether that was approved. The university just says it could not make accommodations. I know I wanted to see Coach Rolovich and the other members of our football staff elect to take the vaccine. WSU President Kirk Schultz says Rolovich and four assistant football coaches are now five of the less than 50. It's pretty funny. It's like people are literally just getting fired for being stupid. Which is kind of funny, like people are literally getting fired for being just like dumb hogs. I'm sorry, as much as I love about like, you know, worker rights and all this stuff, like I can't help but like enjoy this a little bit, you know, it's, it's so funny. I mean, it's like devastating. It's absolutely devastating when you think about like how many people actually get fired for ridiculous reasons. Meanwhile, these hogs are getting fired because they're like, I'm not taking this fucking, I'm not taking this vaccine, brother. I don't, I don't want to save myself. These school employees terminated because of the mandate. It surreals a good, good way to describe it, but it's really more. There are no religions that go against vaccines. Yeah, it's so stupid. It's so dumb. Um, j just a lot of heartbreak for the, for the young men in our locker room. Do you dislike cops? Uh, yes. Anyway, uh, it's all people who aren't in precarious positions, so it rocks. I'm so pissed at those hogs. Cops benefited so much from their jobs that they can just walk away from them for nothing. Sometimes I wish I were evil or stupid enough to be a cop. No, fuck that, dude. Terrible. The dog shit job. Looks like all peace and harmony. Now, Manchin, earlier in the... Why do you hate cops? Don't you think it's extreme to judge a whole community by the actions of some? And do you believe we need cops in society? 
Uh, yawn. I've talked about this extensively over and over again. Yes, I do believe that there is a force that is a necessity for the societal formation, okay? But policing in the United States of America, especially, but worldwide, has always been, both historically and in contemporary society, uh, a force not for good, but to protect the interests of capital and not the interests of the citizens. Can you be a good person and also join the police force with good intentions? Absolutely. Do you get spit out and uh, completely conform? Also, absolutely. Because the tool, because you are a tool, okay? You are a tool of the state. A state that protects the interests of capital puts it over the interests of the people. So you cannot be a good person while you are in the process of being a cop, okay? That's it. If you truly are a good cop, you'll probably get fired. There is no such thing as like a good cop. That's why, that's why people say a cap, okay? Because there are laws that are designed to hurt poor people. There are laws that are designed that are immoral and wrong and abhorrent. And as a cop, you have to follow those laws, okay? And that's precisely why you can be a good person separately. Not many are, but let's say you can be a good person separately and a cop, but you can't be a good person while being a cop, okay? Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>